Marion Renault, guys, let's talk. I don't know if I could like her anymore. I really do not know if I could like this gal anymore. I don't know where I've been. I apologize to all of you. Some of you turned to old Chael, right? I know I'm shining my own wheels, but some of you turned to old Chael to kind of set you up for who to keep your eye out for, kind of tell you some of the stories. Why are we here? Why does this matter? I missed it. I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I've been. The most I've ever seen on Marion Renault, I'm going to call her Marion from now on, but the most I've ever seen on Marion is this past week when she was getting ready to fight Misha. It was her first and only co-main event. She's fighting a former world champion. It was a big deal. You understand why the attention was on her, but it was also the first time. I was lazy, apparently. I did not go to that extra step to find out about her on my own. I sat back. I waited until somebody forced it on me, but I turned my head and go, man, I like this gal. And she is quietly the oldest athlete on the roster. Now, I suppose that's a false statement because she just retired. She just retired, but she was the oldest athlete on the roster, 44 years old. I could only guess why that wasn't made a big deal of, and my guess is with men and women, that can be a more sensitive topic, right? Perhaps, perhaps that's why, but I think we should have talked about it. I think we should have talked about her career because she didn't even start it till she was like 34. She did a piece last week talking about, now Randy Couture started in the sport at 34, became world champion at 36. That was blockbuster news at the time. There was a tiny bit more, a little bit of a caveat to that because he had 20 years of world-class wrestling. But it was still a very big deal that it was a new sport and he discovered it at 34. She did the same thing. And whether she went to the world championship or not, I've got to tell you what that's like. My first day in a boxing gym, my first day, oh God, I wanted to go box so bad. And my father tried. He tried from the time I was a little kid. We could not, there used to be something called the Yellow Pages. Okay, not, now you can go to Google, ask Siri, this type stuff. We used to have to, for any business that you wanted to do, you went to the Yellow Pages. You found out what their phone number was. You got an address. You drove down to it. There was no GPS. You had to get a map out. You had to ask somebody. I mean, it, it was a thing. To go out and do stuff outside of your comfort zone, it was a thing. We had no boxing. There was no boxing anywhere in Oregon. Now, as I got older, what I learned was the finances of a boxing gym are so obsolete that they just couldn't afford to put the ad in the yellow pages. But we also did not have the internet. So there was a boxing gym near me. It was about 30 miles away, but I didn't know. I'd looked for it my whole life. I didn't know until I was 19 years old. So I find this boxing gym. I live at it after that. There was never a day I was not in that gym. So. When I go in there, I'm a college athlete. I got a scholarship. I'm working hard. I'm one of the top guys in the country. Good, solid athlete in good, solid shape. That's all I'm saying about myself. But when I went in there, it was very hard to get anybody to do anything with me, to teach me how to do the speed bag, right? Speed bag's a rhythm, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But you have to learn how to wrap your hands. You have to learn. What gloves do I use on the bag? What gloves do I use in sparring? You have to learn. To get a mitt session, I'm nowhere near this. This just isn't going to happen. They took a look at me, and everybody was plenty nice to me, but they looked away. The coaches did not come over. I wasn't what they were looking for. I wasn't an aspiring Golden Gloves. I wasn't an up-and-comer that was going to make a world or Olympic team. I'm 19 years old. A lot of the guys at the gym are done by the time they're not. I'm just sharing with you. It was hard. And I kept, I went home. I told my dad, I can't get, hey, how was practice? I, dad, I didn't, I did my own thing for two hours till I got exhausted. I came home. He got tired of hearing me say that. He pulled off a job site one day. He drove me down there. So he comes in and talks to the coach. I don't know how the conversation went, but I know before it was over, I saw my father reach into his pocket and put some bills in the guy's hand. All of a sudden, I got a coach. All right. All of a sudden, they're working with me. I share that with you because I could only imagine what it was like for her at 34 years old to go into a gym, have to humble herself and tell a coach, I have goals. I'm going to go to the UFC. I'm going to get noticed by Dana White. I'm going to do this on television. I'm going to have sponsors that are going to want to be attached. I'm going to have fans cheering my name. They would have laughed at her. Likely did. Not to mention a female at the time she started in a purely male-driven business. Guys, 2014, 
was the debut. Am I right on that? If I'm wrong, it was 2012. That was the debut of women fighting in the Ultimate Fighting Championship? She would have pre-dated that? Do you know what that would have been like for her? No one believing in her. And she did it anyway, and she found a way to extend her career to 44. This is an awesome story. If that does not bring a tear to your eye or motivate you in some way, and it's all over now. She couldn't have gone out any more gracious. Completely acknowledged defeat, said it was an honor to fight Misha, had no problem with it. Off she goes in her life. A lot of people will say the right words. I could see the sincerity. I could see the content in Marion's face when she left that octagon. She means it. Most athletes have, have two things to look forward to, drugs and alcohol. It's not great, but they can't get that high. They can't get that rush. They feel they've lost their identity. They don't know what to do. She is going to be just fine. She really is. And I would like to speak with her. If anyone knows how to get a hold of her, please get a hold of me. You can just do it through Twitter on DM, but I want to have her on. I want to tell her these things to her face. I want to tell her what a wonderful job she did. And I also want to give her an apology that I got here so late. 